Manifest Money Abundance Secrets from The Zen Billionaire Ken Honda What is financial abundance? Financial abundance is that sweet balance between rejoicing and being grateful for what you already have and knowing how much is enough with a desire to achieve it. When you're feeling a sense of inner fulfillment, it's like sending a signal to the universe that money can flow into your life with ease. Contentment is one of the elements in achieving financial abundance. If you're living in contentment, it means your life is truly authentic to you. Money is just a way to express that. In this video, we'll dive into the secrets of manifesting financial abundance from a wealthy man and amazing abundance teacher, Ken Honda. If you want to know about this, then keep on watching. Abundance Mindset versus Scarcity Mindset Unless you have a mindset of peace and prosperity around money, having a lot of it won't take you anywhere. Having an abundance mindset means that you feel as if there's enough money in the world for everyone, and you know it can easily come to you as well. Abundance is about feeling content, satisfied, and relaxed when it comes to your relationship with money. On the contrary, a scarcity mindset is what society instills in us and lures us to believe the lies regarding money. In addition, this kind of mindset makes us obsessed with money, which makes us neglect the most important thing, contentment. When you have an abundance mindset, your thoughts would be like, I am worthy of abundance. I have everything I need to be abundant. Money comes easily. There is enough money for everyone. I deserve to have money, but when you are enslaved into scarcity mindset, you would think that I have to work really hard to make money. There isn't enough money for everyone. Rich people were just lucky, and I am not like them. Money is dirty. Money is hard to make. The amazing thing about it though, is that you can learn how to heal your money wounds. According to Honda, money is just energy that has to flow through your life. And the best way to make it happen is to create a stable foundation through Money EQ. How to achieve financial abundance. Financial abundance can be a key to gaining financial freedom. Here are the steps that Honda unraveled in achieving this. Number one, build a healthy relationship with money. If your money is smiling, you must have done something great. If money isn't a restriction, what would you do? This is the challenging question Kent prompts you to ask yourselves. You might opt to travel around the world or indulge in the richness of having multiple properties. But what would you do when the thrill runs out? Money is energy, and it's crucial to understand how to make your money happy. You can take out your financial abundance crystals and all, but the first thing to work on is how you relate to your money. Compare it to any other relationship where you'd want to nurture feelings of joy, connection, and gratitude. How do you treat your money? How would a friend respond knowing you're frustrated, angry, or afraid of them? Would your relationship flow easily? Will they be all smiley and happy to be around you? Well, according to Honda, talking to money will expand your awareness regarding your relationship with money. You can achieve this by practicing with cash, or your credit card. But the important thing is to start a conversation and establish a connection. Ask yourself, if money was a person, 
What would it say? Listen. Feel it. What would you say back? Maybe you don't treat money so well. Maybe you would reply, I'm so sorry I've been ignoring you so much. I'm so sorry I've been criticizing you, blaming you too much. I'd really like to be friends with you. You do mean a lot to me. When having a one-on-one -on -one with your money, you can also sweeten things up through affirmations like, I now release all resistance to attracting money. Money flows easily to me. I naturally attract good fortune. I am a money magnet. I choose to live an abundant life. This exercise looks absurd, but it would be a great start in creating a joyous relationship with money. Number 2. Heal Your Money Wounds Appreciation opens the door to more love and abundance. Money wounds are big boulders that completely block your way toward financial abundance. They're disguising in the form of limiting beliefs and resistance to receiving them. Consequently, it gives you a hard time keeping the money flowing into your life because they might be built on the idea of, I'm not worthy enough to have money. These patterns establish your financial reality. Honda advises identifying the patterns you have around money, since this will unlock the answers as to why you cannot create the financial abundance you desire. What can help you in the process of healing these wounds is developing an appreciation practice. During this exercise, you can take some time to write down all the great people and opportunities you encountered during your life. You can reflect on your family's past and send love and compassion for how much they hurt in their relationship with money. Number three, expand your container for money, your capacity to receive. Start recognizing the secret needs you have and start fulfilling them one by one. Your money container is basically your capacity to receive financial abundance in your life. Do you feel open to having a big amount of money in your container? Or is there a feeling of restriction around money? As if you didn't have enough space to contain too much of it. Ask the question, how big is my money container? Think about the amount of money you're comfortable with receiving right now. Identify the place where you're at. Have you experienced the feeling that money is leaking somewhere in your life? Well, perhaps there's a hole in your money container which causes you to feel frustrated. Now. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, if you were super selfish, what would you do? Honda encourages you to think about those secret needs you never take the time to nurture. Because in order to fill up your money container, you need to pour your own cup first. Neglecting your own needs is like walking around, bleeding and not knowing where that pain comes from. Step into your financial greatness with these three steps, which suggest Cam Honda. Do these practices and manifest money abundance. It's time to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.